Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. In this episode we're going to start work on the next Walking Dead challenge which is Terminus. Now Terminus is located in Atlanta, Georgia and it was shown in seasons 4 and 5 and it's pretty much an aging industrial complex situated very close to a very large railroad um, and it was pretty much used to lure in who was possibly still alive in these series. So this is going to take some time this build um, and it's going to take a bit of help from some modders. Now the difficult part of these challenges is getting something that looks like it should do and with the combination of Ivania's warehouses and the retexturizing Pyronics together we have been able to create the main buildings like for like with the correct textures and the right sort of assembly so Together, this has made my day. The buildings look perfect and it's pretty much time to work on the build. Now, some of you may have already seen this. I did actually live stream this first part of the build because I wanted to let people know and show everyone how I create these builds like, well, <laughs> as best as I can, like for like. And obviously when you're trying to copy something, you want to get the layout perfectly right. So what I end up doing here is I start out by making a grid with some roads this is pretty much just purely to allow me to sort of visualize where things go and if you look back i'll put a link up in the top of the screen now and this will be the live stream rerun clip and it pretty much shows you how i achieved what i have done so far with these builds and it's a combination of using images from google and actual google earth to really get a good layout down and sort of get the measurements right so that's what you're seeing here on the screen I'm just trying to work out the distance between each area and that's going to allow me then to work out the actual rail yard itself and where it all goes. So using the road lines really does help you achieve a um, well more precise and detailed locational area. Now whilst on the topic of live streams it's certainly something I've really wanted to do a lot more of and due to time constrictions and well unawareness of if it's actually worth me doing. I don't really know where to go from here so if you are interested in seeing more sort of live builds on stream either YouTube or on Twitch whichever you prefer I normally would do both anyway let me know in the comments below now you'll see that I do end up changing a lot and what I'm doing here I'm using a combination of these dirt roads to both imitate the sort of outline of the build itself and also where the buildings are going so the building next to the Termus building is this sort of circular um, sort of train house. I, I mean there's one on the workshop which I'll end up actually using which is pretty much spot on for what I wanted to achieve. So this first stage is pretty much just getting everything as best as I can. So looking on Google Maps to see sort of where these tracks come out. I'm trying to get it as best as I can in terms of like for like. Um, and obviously the difficulty is, is with any building you're not going to get things exactly how you need it to. Despite the efforts and everything from both Avania and Ronix, unless you get something built from scratch, you're never going to find something that suits your needs perfectly. So that's when, that's when you need to use your inspiration and your own sort of understanding of the game. And some may call it a bodge job, but others will call it inspiration and well, creativity, I guess. But we'll come back to that much later on in this episode. For now, we are just pretty much putting down the actual train tracks themselves. So, making sure we got the right number of tracks, making sure they sort of curve in the right sort of areas, and again, using the Move It mod tool, this would be near impossible without that addition to the game. So again, some amazing work from the workshop allowing us to do some incredible work now. Both texturizing and actual gameplay ability. So, the game that keeps on giving is what I'm often calling it. And going back to what I said earlier about using your creativity to make something work, this wasn't the final outcome, but this gives you an idea at this early stage of what I was thinking. So I was trying to think of some buildings we could put in on top of what we already got to sort of replicate the actual garages themselves. And uh, you'll see a bit later on in this episode, maybe in the second part, that this ends up being achieved in a, an absolutely amazing way in my opinion. 
So the actual train track side of things does take me quite some time to get down correctly. I mean, even when I've got the main core of the number of tracks down, there's a lot of readjustment you uh, made um, with the Move It Mod tool after um, to generate the look that I was going for. So this was this was a bit of a tedious episode. Um, a good solid sort of two two to three hours I was spent on just the train tracks itself, but. You have to have the foundation down to really get things looking as they should and you'll see at the end of this video that the effort and time spent on the train tracks alone really did make the well, make the build come to life. And an interesting fact for Terminus, the actual word Terminus in the 1830s was the actual settlement name between Western and Atlantic Railway lines. Um, which then later actually became called Atlanta. So that was a, an interesting Walking Dead fact for you guys. And on that note, we're just going to jump into a short time lapse just whilst we complete the track and we'll catch up very, very shortly. See you soon. <laughs> Now this little area here where I'm trying to raise up this road gave me a bit of a headache at first. I mean looking on the maps itself, the actual sort of buildings beyond Terminus to the right hand side as you see it now are actually on a much higher level. And I was trying to replicate that as best I could. I tried firstly using roads and moving those up but we had some issues with the way that the actual land lied. I then tried to use some terraforming to bring the land up and in the end it worked out and I don't know how I achieved it to be honest, it, um, it just sort of magically worked and the best way I did find in the end was to use the sort of roads themselves. And then a bit of terraforming around it along with some move it adjustments as well. Um, because I also wanted to create this little arc down here. So where you see this road crossing over the train track, it's kind of a bit of a a downwards hill to that um, which looks really nice on the map and I really wanted to try and achieve that but the issue I had as you can see here is some of the um, areas left this strange see-through sort of approach and feeling so after a bit of time spent using the move it mod tool moving the roads around and sort of higher and lower in the area we eventually do get rid of that horrible see-through look so now moving on to the build again so what we're doing here is we're replicating the next part of the build so using the retextured Avania um, warehouses via Ronix, we're now just trying to get these to sit as best they can so 
the actual buildings themselves I was trying to get them as close as possible with a little bit of overlapping to make it look a little bit better um, but this is all about the placement now so I'm sort of using my Google Maps um, view and some photos I've already got ready on the computer to sort of make sure that we are getting the buildings as best as we can and you'll see at the bottom now we have also added an extra building through the the railway shed and I think it looks good we wanted to try and create a bit of a well we're gonna need to try and create the shape of that building and it wasn't completely round there was other bits beyond it so a bit of a trial and error on a few different um, different buildings allowed us to get there eventually and you'll see this little um, what I call my palette um, which is a, a range of different buildings that I've already selected and think fit the theme it just means that life is a lot more easier when it comes to actually placing down buildings I don't have to keep going to the search bar and type in the buildings and sort of getting them as and when I can place a number of different copies all along the sides and then pretty much just use the move it tool to copy and paste them over so certainly worth doing if you guys have issues in that sort of respect and it just makes life a lot easier it means you can really focus on what you what you can do and what you've got in front of you I must admit I do still sometimes go back and search through my actual buildings to make sure I didn't miss anything or maybe something looks a bit better now that I've changed something here and there so it's certainly something to keep in mind anyway and going back to the move it mod tool I mean it's been an absolute game changer for everyone I know I speak a lot about it but it's the fact it gives you now this ability to almost create custom assets in game and what I mean by that I'm not talking what the likes of the community creators build from scratch actually properly I'm talking about the fact we can now combine buildings together we can overlap stuff we can hide things away and we can create something that's slightly different to what we were given in the first place and it does mean that every build now can be that much more custom than what it once was and it certainly has helped me out dramatically with my builds as you can see from this time lapse here I'm sort of combining buildings I'm putting buildings all over the place um, I mean it just creates a completely different feel and it, it really does really does work and it does make this series a lot easier to now complete but not just easier it makes it a lot more enjoyable now to play So going back to my comments earlier, I eventually did settle and find these garage um, doors which worked perfectly for this build. So this is sort of to resemble the fact that these train lines aren't just stopping outside the building, they do go in there. So using the Move It mod tool again, I make sure the actual tracks go through the doors to really give you that feeling that these tracks go throughout the building themselves and it doesn't just stop in front. So that just made things look a little bit more interesting and it sort of made the story tell a lot better as well. And again, doing the same sort of thing here with these crane um, frames is just sort of doubling them up and sort of making them look like it goes across the whole of that face of the wall. And then again, adding in these garage doors to replicate the whole um, building itself. <music> Touch, 
So as we were discussing before, I was trying to get the terrain a little bit higher at this point of the build to sort of replicate what I see on the Google Maps. And you'll come across the issues I found um, when doing so. And the main one was when I started to put down the actual fences themselves. Um, the issue that I had was the fences went underground and didn't take to the actual area. You'll see it here, um, the fence here sits perfectly but move it up to the road level and it doesn't go there because of the um, the terraforming itself so this did take a little bit of time to resolve this is what I was talking about earlier where I don't know how I really managed to get it to work eventually but eventually I did um, and we'll now be moving on to another purpose-built asset prop sorry from uh, Ronix which is the broken fences which I requested and what he'd done here was incredible. The actual designs he'd done, he's done a, I think five or so of these. Some of them have fallen, some of them are broken, um, and some are just a little bit tatty. And it just makes, makes this build even more realistic because that is exactly what you see when you watch the episode, those fences. And like I said to him, those fences will be used all over the community now because not only are they perfect for me, they're brilliant for abandoned warehouses or just tatty areas. It's just a great, great build from him. And here we go. This is what I've done so far. So just to give you an idea on what these fences look like, this is pretty much us at the end of part one. And you can see we got the road in, we got the heights down. I started putting a few bits of foliage around, um, but you'll see everything in terms of the building layouts are all done and we are pretty much at the point of readying to detail and that is going to be part two which you'll be able to see next sunday and yeah join me there guys it's going to be an absolutely amazing episode there's going to be so much to detail some of the textures i've been getting when i've been practicing has been absolutely phenomenal so do not miss it let me know your thoughts of this episode anything else you want me to do within the walking dead community let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video drop me a like if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching and all the best. Yeah.